Let's tie Shane Stall Cup's winger and merger. We start with a Tiemco 2487 and 17-odd uni thread in white. We take the thread back into the bend of the hook, just laying down a good foundation of thread. We create a little bit of a bump. What that does is let me tie in my tail feathers and or shuck feathers and lift it up a bit. This is just uh, fibers from my hand cape in Dunn. I'll lash the rest of the feather to the top of the hook. Take you probably what two eyes, two lengths of an eye behind the, the eye of the hook, but two and a half. I just leave a lot of room up there because I'm going to add the uh, hackle as well as the wings will be tied in right behind the eye. I've got a goose biot that is an olive and I'm going to tie it in with the notch facing to the back so that I get a smooth body. do a little bit of a build on the thread up near the thorax area just so I get a little bit of a taper. Tie up my thread so that I can wrap my goose biot up. Bring in my hackle pliers. didn't tie it down enough so let's just go back in fortunately with the 17 hot thread it's not very much build take it back into the tie-in point really lash it down once again bring it up to the front my trick with using the hackle pliers is I just let the weight of the hackle pliers the tension on it so I don't pull it out. And actually use the uh, rotating function of my vise. Now I'm wrapping with just a tish of overlap just so I don't get that fuzzy edge. As you can see even with a really relatively long goose biot this is a size 16 hook it barely makes it up to the thorax area. So if you're going to use goose biots you're most likely to use anything from a 16 size 16 and below. Trim off my excess goose biot and nail it down. Now I've got a hen cape in done and I'm going to tie it in so that I'll use it for my for my legs or my hackle. I'm just pulling some of the after plume fibers off the shaft. 
and tie it in. And tie it off. Once again, pick up my hackle pliers. Excuse me, just trimming off some the excess stem off of the hackle. Add a little bit of dubbing. For the thorax area, and wrap my thorax. it off. It's mainly I do that so it doesn't unravel when I'm applying my, when I'm wrapping my saw tackle. Grab my pliers. you can see I'm doing something dumb here. I'm applying pressure. Instead of just using the weight of the hackle pliers. I got lucky though. It didn't come off on me or break. Ah, spoke too soon. Okay, went back to the technique I should use, which is just to let the hackle pliers create the tension just by its weight. Now I'm going to tie off my hackle. You don't need very many wraps, two or three. It's not like you're putting a thousand legs on there. Trim some of the fibers. Now I've got the tips off of hand cape feathers and I'm going to use them as my wings. Add my other wing. Adjust, adjust the length. Tr trim off the uh, excess stem from my wings. Grab a little bit of dubbing again and dub the head. On this small file you probably don't need to but it creates a nice finish for it. And we'll finish.
And that's my version of Shane Stock Up Swinger and Merger. This baby fishes really well. And it's fun to tie. And it's gorgeous looking. <laughs>